Does your physique look like this or maybe like this? Well, don't worry guys, it's called a skinny fat physique and it can definitely be changed. You just have to know what you have to do and today I'm here to help you and to change completely your body. First things first, you need to make sure that you're indeed in a situation of a skinny fat physique. This means that if you have less muscle mass and a higher body fat percentage below 40%, then you're in a skinny fat category. If you're above 40%, then you have to have a different approach because you're just fat. Usually a skinny fat person is someone who's an ectomorph maybe and had some good time drinking, eating chips, being sedentary, watching television the entire day, not doing any sports and that person gained weight, gained fat. If you are that person, you recognize this pattern. So now it's time to change that thing. Let's talk about nutrition first. We all know that nutrition is super important when it comes to our physique. We need to make sure that we clear out the bad things. So remove the alcohol, remove the chips, remove the bad food and make sure that you have a proper diet with whole foods. Make sure that you have enough protein, 2.2 grams per kilogram or one gram per pound and you will have to be in a slight caloric deficit, two to 300 calories deficit. This will have to be the foundation and you will have to understand the fact that you cannot continue drinking a lot of alcohol, smoking, enjoying life and still making a lot of progress. It's just not possible. You have to make changes in the nutrition, you have to make changes in your activity level and then your body will react to those changes. Start by making small changes. I'm not a fan of drastic changes, so don't go from complete bad food and go into drastic uh, cut and clean out everything and just eat rice and uh, broccoli the entire day. Make sure you make some small changes, improve your diet slowly, make sure that you reach finally a point that you have the whole foods, the foundation. Just by simply cleaning out your diet and making sure that you have a good foundation, you will already start seeing results without any activity. But now now we go to the next step and we introduce the activity level. We need to make sure that we work out with weights. This is the most important thing. It's crucial to start working out with weights. We need to make sure that the foundation of your activity level, it's a weight workout. Three to four times a week in the beginning, make sure that you learn the execution first. You know how to, if you're a complete beginner, you know how to make the exercises and then slightly increase the intensity, increase the weight. It's always confusing a little bit for someone who's a complete beginner. Maybe you don't know if you have to do weights workouts or cardio or what's more important. The most important thing are the weights workouts. This has to become the foundation. And on top of that, I recommend 15 minutes of cardio post-workout. So we should not focus on cardio. The most important thing is focusing on weights workouts, focusing on increasing the muscle mass because the muscle is an active tissue and the muscle will burn the calories even when you're asleep. The goal will be to increase the BMR, the basal metabolic rate. This way, our bodies burn more calories because muscle is an active tissue. BMR represents between 50 and 70% of the total daily energy expenditure. This is why it's important to focus on weights workouts and increase the muscle mass. Another key element here is patience. If you start one month, two months, and you see that the bell is not gone yet, and you have this tendency of, yeah, leave the weights workouts and let's do more and more cardio because the cardio is actually the thing that burns uh, fat. Don't fall into the trap. Make sure that you stick with the plan, stick with the weights workouts and the cardio is just the extra little thing that will help you burn a little bit more fat. Do not weight yourself. Don't jump on the scale and panic, oh my God, I'm gaining weight. This means something is wrong. The muscle is 50% heavier than the fat. So you might actually gain weight in this process. So don't fall into this trap. Take pictures, this is the best way to measure yourself. Take pictures and then a month later take them again, put them side by side and see the differences. If you need more help with the workout, I have a playlist up here with the bodybuilding workouts. It's gonna help you a lot, so check those videos out. If you're in a situation of being skinny fat, you need to ask yourself, why did I reach that level? What happened? I'm sure you were not the entire life a skinny fat person. Maybe you were just skinny like me. I was very skinny. Maybe a lot of habits started to develop over time, bad habits that made your body achieve the skinny fat point. Sedentarism, alcohol, smoking, bad nutrition. Look at your past period and start to understand what things made you reach that point and start to take those out, start to reverse that process. If you started to drink more alcohol, start to reduce it more and more. If you start smoking more, reduce that. Take it out completely. If your nutrition is bad, if you had a lot of fun time outside with friends and so on, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you cannot have the both worlds. If you want to see what I would do if I would have started all over again, you can check the video up here. 
guys, stick to the plan. Make sure you start working out with weights, clean your nutrition, and for sure you'll manage to change your body. I hope this video helped. In case you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching guys and see you next time. Ciao.